In key stage one and into year three, we would show multiplication to be repeated addition. So five times three would be shown as five added three times. Resources are vital for children learning about multiplying and should not also be ignored for older children who are having difficulties with understanding it. Arrays are another useful visual tool as they help the children to see, for example, three lots of seven. And how that relates to seven lots of three. In Lower Key Stage 2, we introduce the grid method as a way of showing the children how to partition numbers before multiplying them. So in this example, the 23 has been broken down into 20 and 3, and will then in turn be multiplied by 8. So 20 times 8 is 160, because the children should know 8 2 is 16, and 8 times 3 is 24. They can, in most cases, then add that up in their head, giving a total of 184. As the children progress into upper key stage 2, although it can be introduced for some children earlier if they are ready, we show them how to convert the grid method into a written one. So, on this example, we would first of all multiply 300 by 9, which will give us 2700 or 2700. We would then uh, multiply 40 by 9, and 9 fours are 36, so that would be 360 or 36 tens. And finally, we would multiply the units, that will be 6 times 9, which is 54. And then add all those numbers up. Which will give an answer of 3,114. Some children find it useful to put each stage of the calculation in brackets like this. But we find that when proficient with the method, they stop doing so, as it's time consuming and by then probably unnecessary. In years five and six, or when the children are proficient with the partitioning method, we introduce the compact method, which many parents will be familiar with. So on this previous example, this time we will multiply six by nine first, which is 54. Important to put the four and the five in the right places, many children get that wrong. Then we multiply 4 by 9, but we ensure the children remember that they're actually multiplying 40 by 9, really. 4 9s are 36, plus the 5 is 41. And finally, 300 times 9, 3 times 9, which is 27, plus the 4, 31. Again, though, it's very important by the time they leave primary school that they know when and when it isn't appropriate to use this method, because they may well be better, quicker methods of doing that, or in fact they may well be able to do this kind of thing in their head, in which case they would be partitioning the number and multiplying the bigger numbers first. This partitioning method can also be applied to long multiplication, where we multiply numbers by more than one digit, like in this example here. So the children may well multiply 70 by 30 to start with, which is 2,100. And again, initially they may put in brackets what they're doing at each stage, so that would be 70 times 30. They would then probably multiply 70 by 8, which is 560. Then they would move on to multiplying uh, 2 by 38. So initially 2 times 30, which is 60.
And finally, 2 times 8, which is 16. Add all those numbers up. And we have a total of 2,736. Here is an example of a calculation with decimals in it for the most able or oldest children. So 6 times 6,000 is 36,000. 6 times 400 is 2400. 6 times 70 is 420, or 42 tenths. 6 fives are 30. And then 6 times 0 0.3 is 1.8. And 6 times 0 0.09 is 0 0.54. It's then just a case of adding it up. 